Hey friends, welcome to my page, DIY Crafts with Dar. Happy Wednesday, happy hump day. How is everybody? We're gonna make some more things for our April kit. We're actually gonna make um, the water globe again. So I know that some people are just starting um, doing the kit. So I'm gonna do the water globe. And then I actually have another project to go in the basket that we'll do maybe in like the end of this week. So the basket can be tricky to assemble. You definitely want to watch the tutorial so you don't assemble it wrong. You want to make sure that you can use both sides, one white and one brown so that you can flip it depending on, on the theme and the color of everything. So this month it looks best with the white side. <laughs> so how is everybody? Can you believe we're halfway through our week already? Where does it go? <laughs> I did get all of the invoices out except for there was a handful of people that I did not have emails for. And sometimes you you give me the email somewhere on my Facebook page, but I just can't find it. Um, you know, I, sometimes I just have to ask. Facebook can hide those things sometimes. So anyways, the, I, I did a post on the VIP group, in the VIP group saying that all the invoices have gone out. Please check your private messages for the link. You'll find the link there or your email because email to um, PayPal will send you an email that has the link for the invoice. So you'll get it in two different areas. So make sure you get those paid within 48 hours. Um, any, any ones that are not paid within a week, um, if you haven't made prior arrangements, I will just be deleting the invoice and moving on because I played that game last month with, I don't know, maybe maybe 20 people. With the last sale, I had over 20 people that never paid. So I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to wait a month <laughs> to, for people to, to pay. Um, what I'll do is after a week, I will send a message. I'll send the invoice back out. And if it doesn't get paid, then I'll, then I'll give somebody else the opportunity to purchase those. Because there's a lot of people that did not get any because they were late to the ball game um, for the sale. So um, just make sure you get your things paid if you, want, if you really want them. And don't claim stuff if you don't because that's not fair to everybody else. Okay, I have that happen every time. I When I went to do this sale, I still have my stack on my desk that was unpaid and I'm like there's at least there was at least 20 people there and I'm like that's ridiculous hmm. so um, next time um, they'll just get banned from the page because why waste my time anyways okay guys <laughs> let's get started I did want to show you the cute little sheets that I do I send um, with the monthly kit okay the monthly kit is the only thing that gets little pictures um, that, and the thing that shows the colors that I use, okay? Everything else just comes wood, okay? So the monthly kit has pictures that show the project and has um, a full picture with everything together, kind of a suggested way to put it together and then a list of all the paint colors. So I wanna show you all of that. How is everybody? Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Happy hump day. I'm a little tired, it's okay. Um, life will go on, right? So let me just share it to VIP and then let's get this party started. All right. Unpaid. Oh, like, come on. Something. Come on, Darlene. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Share to my VIP group. Continued prayers for all the people in Maryland that lost their life. There's the six, um, the six construction workers that... They still haven't found. Are there more than that? I, I don't know if there's more than that, the people in cars and stuff, but um, it has just been terrible. Just terrible, guys. I just, I can't imagine um, what they're going through. It's just such a sad thing. Okay, there's a few of you on here. I know Facebook is really slow at sending out messages. I do do the text thing to give you a heads up. Hey, I'm going live, you know, um, but... Sometimes, some days, um, Facebook just isn't nice about um, sending out my page. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. There's always the replay, right? Let me just see who's here. Happy Wednesday. Hi, Betty. How are you? Hi, Karen Ross. Good morning, Cheryl. Hi, Bridget. Hello, Carrie. Good morning, Cindy. <laughs> I know, Cheryl. Uh, they are on their way. So all but like a, a couple went out. So there's there was only there was only four kits that did not go out yesterday. Everything else went out. 
And um, it was it was mainly because we just ran out of time. The kits take 35 minutes to cut each kit and then five minutes to pull it from the laser and assemble it. So it's a, it's a long process and we had over 20 people order boom, boom, boom right off the bat. So um, yeah, we got all but four out in the mail yesterday on their way to you guys. <laughs> Hi, Mary Lee. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Carol. Good morning, Carol Monko. Oh, you have rain. Um, maybe you have our rain. <laughs> I think our rain is done. Hi, Deb. Hi, Stephanie. Um, yeah, it's just so sad. It's, it's so sad, Deb. Oh, my goodness. Yes, and happy birthday. Oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, I missed that one there. <laughs> Oh, Cindy, absolutely. It's such a hard thing. Um, your text hasn't come in yet. Oh, yeah, it will. It's so weird how that happens. It says that it takes 10 minutes for them to go out. So, <laughs> hi, Sarah. Happy hump day. I have a hair that's like sticking right here. Do you ever, it must be attached to my glasses. I don't know. Ever have that? And you're like, it's just tickle in my face. <laughs> it's just tickle in my face. Oh, hey, Carol. Good morning. Hi. Uh, yeah, thank you for, thank you for happy birthdays from my sister. <laughs> hey, Karen, um, your partner, and you won three games of shuffleboard yesterday. Awesome. How fun is that? I have never played, but it always looks so fun. You see it on the cruise ships, and I'm like, ooh, I gotta do that someday. <laughs> One of these days. And they also have it over at the retirement center that I do a craft show at. So, um, hi, Marilyn. <laughs> okay, guys. Hi, Janine. Good morning. Okay, we're going to do part of the kit. And I want to show you I want to show you what you're going to get in, in, your, um, in your box. Okay. So, we have, we have cute boxes. And Tara made a, a super cute sticker to go on the outside. I'm so excited because... It's just, it fits the theme. So we're gonna actually make another water globe. Some of you guys are brand new. And so the water globe can be a little confusing. So we're gonna, as we make our, our water globe <coughs> uh, insert, we're gonna make a new water globe so that you guys can see how that all goes. Okay, so, and then we're gonna do the word honey. Okay, so those are the two projects for today. But I wanna show you the cute little thing that I designed. <laughs> so hey Pam how are you good morning um here is okay so this this is the first page and I don't think that she cut off the edges you know sometimes we trim it down all nice I think she just put it in because it fit so and the color is really off on my screen <laughs> that's really weird it's um I turned the, my light up really bright because it seemed really dark in here so anyways so it has a picture it says April craft box be themed. It has a picture of everything together so you can get an idea. This is how Darlene did it. I actually put um, a little riser at the back, a little box and a stool to lift things up. You can get things like that at Hobby Lobby or, you know, maybe you have stuff already. And then here's all the paint that I used. So it lists all the paint colors so that it's super easy for you. Um, if you want, you know, there are conversion charts online if you don't have um, the Deco Art or Americana around here. And then this is the second page. And it shows a picture, a single picture of each of the items. So I'm going to actually use this today as my reference guide as I'm pa painting because I want to make sure that I paint it correctly. So anyways, I, I, I use reference guides all the time because, you know what, I need little cheat sheets. I do. So there you go. So that's going to be in with each box. That's only with the monthly kits. I don't do that with any of the other kits. I just don't have time. Sorry. <laughs> I but I usually do do a tutorial. There are a few things as I'm as I'm going back through all of the kits that we did last year. There are a few kits that I never got around to painting. There's things like the strawberry one or the or there's um, a ladybug themed truck thing. There's some that I ha that I never got around to painting. So I'm gonna try to catch up on some of that stuff at some point. <laughs> at some point. All right. Let me do this. Let's make this smaller. Let's put myself up in the corner. All right. Okay. There we go. Okay. So so we're gonna paint the bottom part of of or the stand but not the bottom piece okay so we're going to just start putting everything up here here's the honey part we're going to take apart there's the honey pot 
it has a little stirrer. We decided it was just called a stirrer. And then here's the bee that's on there. So, so right here um, on the honey, on the word honey. Okay, let's see, we'll put this bee down here. On the word honey, you're gonna paint all the letters. And I would just, I would just go ahead and paint the pot too, it will be easy. Um, and you do not have to paint this butterfly over here at all. So you don't have to be careful there. And then over here, the only thing that's gonna be painted are the wings and the antenna, okay? So you don't have to paint the body because here's the body. I'm trying to make it easy, make it layers for you guys. Hi, Darlene, how are you? <laughs> okay, let's bring in the water globe. Okay, so here's the insert that goes in the water globe and we're gonna create a water globe because I know it's confusing sometimes. So I'm gonna, I wanna, now and again, I like to go back like I like to do the truck once in a while. Okay, so th these are numbered, all right? So uh, this this is number that says number three. This one says number two. So this tells you the layers that it is. This one says number one. Okay, so, so there's a lot of layers here. Let me just put that up there in the corner. And then all these little pieces here, okay? So hopefully we have room for everything. Might kind of condense things down here a little bit. And I'll scoot the board up. Now that I have things on it, I can scooch my board up. There we go. Hi, Lori, how are you? Good morning. Okay, so let's put more of our pieces. So these pieces just go over. This one has a little, a little notch out of it. That's because this little piece here, the sweet, the word sweet goes down in it. That, that goes in it. Um, no, that, Oh, that goes at the bottom. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That does go in that one. Okay. Because that's going to go at the bottom. So this is why I want to show you how this goes together. Because that notch is for that word. Okay. So that's for that word. All right. Um, we don't have to paint that one because that's in between. Okay. So you're going to paint these two that are solid. This is why we're doing this because it can get confusing. And then see this? There's a notch right there. So that notch is for this piece here for the... For the hive okay so let's just take all this apart we have cute little bees here we'll just put these bees kind of over by these bees they are layered i wanted to do it layered so it's easy for you be really careful of the antenna they could break you just need to be they're fragile just just don't push on them don't go oh i wonder if they'll break they will and then you'll be sad because you'll have to you'll be gluing that teeny tiny antenna back so be really careful and here's all the bodies. We're gonna have to paint the bodies. And we'll paint them yellow first and then we'll go back and we'll do the stripes just like we did the other day. Okay, all right. So we have um, the background and then we have the word, word local honey. Okay, so just taking everything off so that we have all of our words and things. Okay, so there's a bunch to paint but I wanted to show you everything and show you how to do that, the water globe again. All right, so let's just start at the top. Let's just start painting the top. So um, let now I think I'll do my water globe a different color this time. I think I'll do grays with black, um, with a black base, okay? So I'll do this part black and I need to get light buttermilk out. Let me find light buttermilk. Where are you hiding? You're hiding from me. Okay, all right, so light buttermilk. Um, the center of this, so this is gonna be I'm going to be painting the center of this. The bottom part, I'm not painting because it's not going to show. So I'm this is the center part. Um, oh, actually, guess what, guys? This doesn't get painted at all. Because guess what? This goes in there. I don't paint it. So this piece, this piece does not get painted. All right. Never mind. Um, well, let's do the base. The base will be black on this one. Okay. So, and then this part is going to be brown. So let's just start, let's just start, let's start at the top and work down because I, I tend to drag my sleeves and things. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I just tend to make a mess. So if I start at the top and work down, maybe it won't be as messy. What do you think? <laughs> oh, guys, I love this one. Um, like I said, it takes a long time to cut on the laser and our lasers are pretty fast. So our lasers are, you know, they're, they're the same ones we've had for 15 plus years now. 
and they run as strong as they did from day one. That's the great thing about getting, getting stuff that is good quality because it will last. All right, I'm gonna use honey brown, or not honey brown, I'm gonna use milk chocolate to do the base. What else is going to be that color? Let me look. Um, yeah, I don't think that I need the, the dark chocolate. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the stir stick that color too. I think that's the only thing, I think that's it. <coughs> oh, my words, local honey, they're black. So I will bring back, I will bring back my little paintbrush. Okay, so that should be enough to do that and to do my stir stick. Okay, so that's the base that the word honey is gonna go into, okay? That is the base. All right, so, so I told you the other day that my, my childhood friend, Karen, passed away um, during, or passed away when she had her liver transplant, it was not successful, and she passed away. So her her um, memorial service is today in Utah. I'm not able to be there. I was not able to take time off to go because I recently had a lot of time off. But I've been thinking of her today, and thinking of funny things that happened. So maybe I'll maybe I'll have to think of one funny story that <laughs> I have so many great memories. You know, you know that your mind starts starts doing that when when you have a loss in your life okay that's gonna go there what color let me take a look here okay so this needs to be gray um this part and these are gray so i, I want it to be gray, and then this is going to be light buttermilk okay so um let's do our gray yeah i just i just have such great memories of my childhood with her it's, it's funny because you start thinking of those things when, when you've lost somebody. You start thinking of all the great things. Why don't we do that more often when they're alive? Why don't, why don't we think of all the great things? Like have, have a special, like a friend's day. There should, you know, like there's Mother's Day and Father's Day. Is there a friend's day? Because there really should be. Okay, so I did black. I'm going to do milk chocolate for the, for the word sweet. There really should be a friend's day if there isn't. <laughs> Can someone tell me if there is? Someone do a search, because I I think that we should we should really do that. We should have a friend's day. Yeah. Okay. I think I think that um. Let's see. This actually isn't painted. This part's painted like buttermilk. I'm looking at everything, going, what's painted? What? <laughs> These are painted gray. Okay. Let's just do the gray. I'm getting confused here on this. Okay, so I, and then I need to get out the light buttermilk because this is light buttermilk, this is light buttermilk, this is light buttermilk. All right, so actually I think I did this white. Yeah, I did white instead. Yeah, um, honey dippers, honey dippers, yay, thank you. I, I just couldn't remember what they were called. Honey dippers, that's great, that's great. So you know, here here's the funny thing with my with my friend, with my friend Karen. Okay, so she had she had two brothers and one sister. So she had she had a decent sized family and they always had kitties. I I I didn't really like cats that much growing up be, maybe because my sister was allergic to them and she could not even be in the room with them. I could not go and play with them and handle them without making sure that I washed um, my hands and all of that because <clears throat> she was that allergic. Okay, I'm gonna do the light buttermilk on here because it's gonna show in here. Okay, so that's that's gonna be light buttermilk. But um, I used to go and play. I used to go and play with my with my friends' kitties. I loved that. And when they would go on vacation, I would babysit. So I would go and I'd feed them every day. And I love that. I just love because I couldn't really be around cats. But that was an excuse. I could go and play. I just had to make sure that I washed my hands and did all of that because she was that allergic. And we shared a room. So it really did make a difference. Um, so I needed to be careful. But I, I, loved, I loved her cats. And so one of the funniest things that I was thinking about, I told my sister this the other day. So... Karen, Karen's dad is still still alive, and he was scary to me back then. <laughs> you know, a lot of times father father figures are scary to their to the friends. You know, but he really was. 
<laughs> and I had heard him yell. And so he was he was a scary man to me. And I tried to stay away and never, never, ever make him unhappy. You know, <laughs> I, I, I was able to go on, um, go on a camping trip with them once. And that was a ton of fun. He was, he was an avid fisherman. So he loved to do stuff like that. He loved to go hunting. But one time I was at, I was at my friend's house and it was dinner time. And so her, her family called her up to dinner and I was like, I'm just going to stay down here. I was actually spending the night, but I had already had dinner. So I stayed down in the basement where they had their TV room and International Friendship Day, July 30th. 30th. Okay, so we're going to we're going to dedicate that day to talking about our friends and doing fun friend stuff. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so so I stayed down in the basement and I, and I got this great idea that I'm going to jump out at her. Okay, so I need to do the white on the wings and I'll have to do like two coats. So I'm going to do the white on the wings here. And then um, remember, I don't have to do that one because it's layered. Okay, so I'm going to do the white on the wings and then the black part um, of the antenna shows. So I I could tell they were getting ready. Uh, they were finishing up dinner and I could I could hear them, you know, clearing their plates. And so. I decided I'm going to I'm going to hide behind the door. The door is closed at the bottom of the stairs. I have to hide behind, behind the door and I'm going to jump out at her when she opens that door and scare her because I love to scare people. So so I had the I had this great um, idea to do that. Okay, I'm going to be really careful with the words at the top. I'm going to just go sideways so I don't fill in those words. All right. So hang on a second. <laughs> So I so I hear footsteps down the, down the stairs and I'm getting all excited to jump out at her, and the door opens and I go Rawr! really loud and I and I jump I jump at her, and guess what? It wasn't her. It was her dad. <laughs> it was her dad. I think I gave him a freaking heart attack and he just he just looked at me and kind of growled and I was like, I retreated to her bedroom so quickly, <laughs> but. But that's that's one of the funny memories that I remember. We were we were basically inseparable. We I grew up um, in Utah um, and Idaho, so I lived I lived in Utah and from kindergarten until my summer after ninth grade. And me and Karen and Sharon, there was another person that was like there were three of us. Um, we were inseparable. We did so much together. I, I remember one time going to a celebration. It was probably like a 4th of July celebration or Memorial Day celebration. We're at a park. Okay, so we're at a park. And hi, Kathy, how are you? I'm sharing some memories of my friend that it's her memorial service today. So I'm just sharing some some little stories about Karen. Um, she was the best. She really was. She She always was kind to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to be. Um, I don't know if I ever succeeded at being kind to everyone, but she really was. She was such a great example of of what people should be. So, okay, black from the antennas. So we were at a park and we we're like, oh, you know the little the little ring the rings that you can twist and then you hold on to and you spin, spin, spin. So they're just just a little ring, and so she so we were taking turns holding on to it and spinning each other up as tight as we could up to the top of the, the swing set, basically. So we're just, we're just thinking, gosh, you know, this is really fun. Let's see how fast we can get going. Um, <laughs> she got going so fast that she got dizzy and she let go of the ring and it knocked her front tooth and it chipped it in half. <laughs> And it was terrible. And I had I had to run and and her, and her mouth was hurting. Her mouth was all was all bloody and hurting. Um, but it just chipped that front tooth diagonal in half. And I was looking at her with she had that little crooked smile. And I and I was trying not to laugh because it was my fault because I had twisted her basically twisted her all the way to the top of the um, of the swing set. <laughs> Because I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> so I, and yeah, so I had to go get her mama and say, Karen's tooth broke. So the next day she had to go to the dentist and I was, I was a good friend. I went there. I, 
I held her hand while she was getting a cap on that front tooth and she forever had to had to get it replaced because you know caps don't last forever but that <laughs> that was that was a great memory I'm just going to paint the bottom of this here so we're painting the word honey and then um, the honey pots right here is the same color. So the color I'm using is deep, or is true okra. I thought it was deep okra. Um, deep okra or true okra. Yeah, they're, they're basically about the same. You can use either. Okay, I don't, it doesn't matter if I paint the wings because it's going to be overlapped. Yeah, it was funny. I... <laughs> I I don't know. I felt terrible. I I felt really bad, even though she she had been spinning me, also like twisting me on the on the metal ring too. It could have easily happened to me. I just didn't let go. I just I just held on as we spun. <laughs> so, um, were you gonna paint the the snow globe black and gray? I I painted it. Um, I painted the base black. And this part gray. I want this part to be light buttermilk. So, and this light buttermilk. So that's that was the part that I'm, I painted the base black, and then the two pieces that go there, I painted them gray. So, um, okay. So and then the honey pot is going to be the deep okra color also. And then the honey that comes out of it. I don't do a lot of different colors on the honey pot. You you definitely could. Um, I just don't. I I'm just doing it easy for you guys. Okay, and then the word sweet, um, we're going to do this color also. And then let me take a look. I think that, I think I did, oh, maybe I did it the other yellow. We'll go over it with the other yellow. Okay, so the, the beehive is also deep okra. The bees are the other yellow, okay? So, but... Um, Karen, Karen and Sharon and I, we just, we just were like two peas in a pod. <laughs> we love gymnastics. We love creating things. We love candy. Gosh, we would go to the 7-Eleven and we would spend our babysitting money on candy and have this great big, um, the, you know, the big that's a bowl, <laughs> the Tupperware bowl. We would have a, a that's a bowl full of candy. It, it was so funny so funny hi laura how are you we're painting we're painting some of our little things for our monthly kit and it's not sticking i'm going to put it over here it's not sticky there anymore so we would have little sleepovers and we would have the that's a bowl <laughs> you know the big huge the big huge bowl that you use for popcorn you use it as a puke bucket when someone's sick you know, you know that bowl, the one that you put the salad in for the family reunion, that, that's a, that's a bowl. Yeah, the biggest, the biggest Tupperware bowl. We would have that full of all the penny and nickel candy and we would, we would play games. We would play cards and, and whoever won that hand or whoever won, you know, sometimes we'd play just silly games that we made up <laughs> and then that person got to pick, you know, a candy or two and before the night was over, um, all of that was gone. <laughs> every bit, every bit. It's surprising we didn't have diabetes. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of the of the deep okra on the end of the the honey dipper and a little bit of the other yellow. And then I'll go back and put a little bit more because I put too much. <laughs> so it looks like there's honey on that. All right. Hi, Sandy. How are you? All right. Let's 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 dry all this and then let's see what detail we need to do, oops, let me just, let me get my black and let's do, let me just do these letters again. I was trying to be really careful and I didn't quite get everything. We used to have sleepovers all the time, like out in the, out in the backyard and we would, we would get jello. Who, who used to eat jello right out of the package? Anyone? Am I, am I just the weird one? <laughs> we used to eat jello. I think I might have to put a second coat of light buttermilk. We'll see. So we would we would get jello, and her grandpa would bring her jello from the Bishop's storehouse. So those of you that were raised Mormon, do you know what the Bishop's storehouse is? It's where you are able to get food if you don't have enough money 
and the jello from the bishop storehouse was not good <laughs> it tasted like soap when you tried to eat it out of the packet you would stick your finger in there and you know you end up having um, red fingers green fingers whatever but we love the crunch of the sugar we would eat we would just eat the jello right out of the package not add water to it <laughs> You did, yes. Multiple bowls of jello of just of just the sugar. Um, can't see comments today. You know what? Somebody else had that problem the other day. That's so weird. I don't know why, and I don't know if anything fixed it. Hi, Lori. How are you? Um, you were jello during swim meets. Oh, yeah. So just the sugar. Yep. Um, it's so funny. We, I love. I don't know what it is about sugar crunch. Same, same with how I used to love having cream of wheat <laughs> and put like a thick layer of sugar on it. Yeah, like the thickest layer I could get. <laughs> okay, I'm just putting a second coat because the light buttermilk for this um, water globe is not all the way. Um, not... It wasn't covering all the way. There we go. That's the word I wanted to use. Okay, I need to do detail on the bees. So I'm going to scooch this up. And then I need to do black for the head. And I need to do the little stripies. Okay, so let me do this. I'm going to, I have a little brush here. And then I'm going to use a stylus for the stripes on, on these here. I think I can do, I think I can do the stripes on here with that. Let me see if I have a different brush. That one's kind of, that one is kind of cheesy. Well, here's a better brush. Okay. Yeah. This brush is good for, for the end, for the dots, but this is a better one. Look at, the, look at how good that one is. It's new. <laughs> yes. Gel out of the packet. Like fun dip. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like fun dip. Yes. Oops. I got some black on my wing. Let me just fix that. So, <laughs> I'm just thinking of all the all the fun memories. Oh my gosh, guys! We if, okay. So if you know where Lagoon is in Utah, maybe maybe you drove past it and you never have gone there. I know Cheryl knows where it is because her daughter does um, clogging clogging competitions there. I think that's what it was. Okay, I'm going to have to do the eyeballs on this after. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the little faces. Let's do all the little faces on this too. So so I lived in what is now West Valley City. Okay, it used to be Hunter back then. So Hunter was quite a ways from Lagoon. I'm going to say probably 30 minutes from Lagoon, maybe. So... Our junior high, John F. Kennedy Junior High, our junior high took the graduating class, our, the ninth graders, to Lagoon at the end of the year. So the thing was that we all had to be back to Jell and Toast. Oh, that's awesome. Jell and Toast wanted to stop and say hi. Oh, thank you, Kat. All my puppies. I know. And I'm trying really hard to not add any more. I have one that I want to rescue, but I'm just I'm just trying not to. I'm hoping somebody else will rescue the dog first because Darlene needs to not have another one. Anyways, <laughs> so so Karen and Sharon and I we went on the, we went on this trip, and we we made our cute little shirts. So we made cute little shirts that that had little straps on them, and and they were all matching. And we had a great time at Lagoon, and you're supposed to be back at the bus at a certain time so that you can be taken back to the school for your parents to pick you up. Okay. Well, guess who missed the bus? <laughs> yes. We missed the bus. We saw it pulling away and we're like, great, great. Now what? Um, luckily, luckily we still had money in our pockets and we saw the city bus and we're like, we were very familiar with the city buses because we used to, we used to ride on the city bus and go downtown, um, to downtown Salt Lake City and go to Temple Square. And we used to proselyte. We, we used to, we used to hand out Book of Mormons <laughs> and talk to people about the Mormon church because that was what we wanted to be missionaries. So we were practicing. Anyway, so we we knew the bus um, really well. So we hopped on a bus and we knew if we just got to downtown, we could figure out what transfer we needed to get on to get home. 
So we we hopped on a bus and we're heading we're heading to um, Salt Lake, and we're we're figuring it out because somebody somebody on there had um, they had there's like little brochures that show where where the buses go. Okay, so we were able to figure out where we needed to get off and transfer to our bus. <laughs> so we got off, we transferred to our bus that would take us back to West Valley City, which is Hunter back then, and. We and it actually, um, it actually lets you out in front of the school, which is crazy, isn't it? Crazy that there's a bus stop right in front of the school, but there probably is a lot of bus stops in front of schools. And so we get, so we get there, we get there before. I don't even know how that happens. We got there before the buses, the school buses. I have no clue how that happened, but we got there before the school buses did. And our parents, um, our parents didn't see us get off of the bus. So we're just kind of, you know, we're just waiting because there's all these parents lined up to get their kids. And we wait for the school bus to get there. And we just walk, we walk in with all the other kids. And nobody even knew that we missed the bus. <laughs> No one knew. So we, we just figured we didn't want to call our parents and say, hey, you need to drive to Lagoon to grab us because we missed the school bus. No, we figured it out. We were girls that figured things out. Okay, I'm going to put that there. I'm going to have to do eyeballs with white paint. Um, and then, I know, isn't it funny? I just, I just love it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Pam. Thank you, Pam. You know, she was such a great person. I just, I just can't say... How, she really was she really was a great person but the saddest thing guys the saddest thing for me is that she left behind so many grandkids and she loved those grandkids she had 13 grandkids and she she loved them with all her heart and I think I think when you have something that you know is like a terminal disease that that you could die from maybe you just live your life to the fullest in the very beginning because her mom had the same had the same um, medical condition that she had all of the kids got it um, her kids probably have it the grandkids probably have it it's is something that is inherited so I think that you probably you probably just live your life to the fullest every single day. And she really did. Now, she didn't have any symptoms when she was a child. And I think back then that they didn't know that it was something that was inherited. I just remember her mom having to go for dialysis because she had this kidney disease. And then the, ki the kidney disease eventually affected her liver. Um, so that was why she had to have a liver transplant was later on. And I don't know if she also had a kidney transplant, but her mom, you know, her mom um, lived for a very long time with it. And then her brother had had his transplant two years ago. And then Karen was supposed to have hers and everybody was at the hospital. They had pictures. Um, it was, it was like a happy day. We're so excited. We're getting this done. And then she passed away. And it just, it, I think it's still, it's blowing everybody's mind that, that she was, she was healthy, but she needed to have this done um, to continue to, to live her life. You know, she struggled with stuff so much because of the disease. And there's pictures of her with her kiddos and her grandkids. And it's like the happiest day of our lives. And then it wasn't. And it just, you know, it's just so sad. It's so sad. So, so I just thought it would be kind of fun to talk about those memories. And, you know, if you have, if you have memories of your bestie growing up or your cousins growing up, write them down. I, I, I want to write down these things for her family because I know her, I know her siblings probably remember this. They probably remembered me as the annoying friend that was always there. I was always there. Always. <laughs> <laughs> we hung out at her house all the time. Her house was the house where kids hung out. And her mom her mom was the was the type of mom that just took us all in and was just so friendly. I just loved it. I just loved it. So um <laughs> Hey Lisa, how are you? Hi Linda. Hi Christy, good morning. Um tricky trick. Um yeah. Okay. Um good Hi Sarah. So I'm just I'm just sharing memories of my childhood friend at sort of memorial service today. So if you're just hopping on, you're wondering what is she talking about? 
I, I just thought, you know, she's up there in heaven watching. Here's a funny thing, is that when I was a kid, I loved to organize. I Not so much now. <laughs> not so much now, but I love to organize. And there were times that my friend would go up to, up to dinner and I'd just be hanging out in her room because I'm like, I don't want to go home. Okay, I'm going to do the eyeball. I do need to do a mouth. Um, I don't have one of my markers here, so I'm just going to use I'm gonna use it as a stylus to do that. Okay, so I need to do eyeballs on these guys. And I'll do like a little mouth with with the with the stylus. Okay. So let's do the eyeballs first. And so I would organize her room. She she was not one that liked to clean her room. <laughs> she would just shove it into a closet and shut the door. And so she would come back and I'd have everything all organized and color coordinated. I love I love to do that for her. Okay, there's that mouth, and then I'm just gonna do a little smile here. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. If you think, oh, I would rather have it without that, you absolutely could. I might go over that and paint it. It doesn't look the best, <laughs> but you know what? It will be fine. It will be fine. It was it's thicker than I wanted it to be, but it's okay. It's all right. It has kind of a little smirk. All right, let's dry that, and then we'll assemble it. I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna paint over it. Yeah, I think I'm going to paint over that mouth. <laughs> Just give me a second here. The mouth did not turn out the way I wanted it to. I'll grab one of my white paint pens. I don't have one in here. And I'll, I'll use the white paint pens. Yeah. What were some of your favorite things to do when you were a child? Any Anyone? Like, places to go... Where's my black brush? I can't seem to find it. It's hiding from me. Oh, there it is. Do you do you guys have favorite places that you went when you were a child? Okay, I'm gonna try really hard to just get this. So I remember going to a place called Saratoga, and it it now is where Saratoga Springs is. Okay, so Saratoga Springs in Utah is it like a big community that has all these fancy houses, but back then. Um, there was an amusement park park called Saratoga, and we went there, and we and you could go swim. There was like hot springs there, so I think it was Saratoga Hot Springs, and I would frequently get to bring my friend Karen with me, because I I I would always say, "Can I bring a friend?" <laughs> I didn't want to just hang out with my sisters and my and my parents. I was like, can I bring a friend? And so I would always I would always bring um, Karen or Sharon. And I remember they had little amusement park rides, just a few. And there was one of those rocket things that spun in circles. It was like a rocket shape, and you went up, and then it spun. The guy, the guy that was operating it, oh my gosh, he wasn't nice to us. He kept us on there. For, forever we were getting so sick I remember that that was like that was a funny time um but Karen says your house was always a gathering place for kids never knew how many you'd have for lunch or supper oh so when your kids were little um it was always the gathering place I could see that because you're just so friendly I can see that okay I'm gonna start inking okay so we're just gonna ink as we go as we pull these things off here is the little beehive I'm gonna ink all around the edges if this technique is new to you, um, you really should try it. These these ink pads are not that expensive. I get them on, on Amazon, and then I'm just going to make a little line going across with this. So you can you can also do your shading. If you are a tall painter, you can get out your, your little um, brush, and you can do shading, okay? Do, do that if you want to. I choose not to. I cho this is the way I do my shading, okay? So I just use my ink pad. I I always loved when my when my kids um, brought friends over. My house was not always the one with the kids. We I always invited people to go with go, to go with us. But um, we have in our neighborhood here we have some really great families, and so it kind of was even. They'd be at our house or at their house back and forth. My daughter always loved hanging out with one one particular friend, which is funny. It just, you know, sometimes they just have their, their favorites. Okay, just getting all of these inked around the edges. 
I love going up to my grandparents um, that lived in, in um, Idaho, which is where we eventually moved. We moved to Idaho the summer of my, um, af after I graduated from my ninth grade. In Utah, junior high was seventh, eighth, ninth grade. Okay, and then I got to to Idaho and high school was 9, 10, 11, 12. So I missed, I missed that awkward stage. I didn't have to be the youngest. You know how freshmen get treated badly sometimes? I didn't have to ever be a freshman because I was, I was in ninth grade, which was the oldest in um, the junior high, which was kind of nice. So um, that's, okay, let's see. You went to Spencer, Idaho once a month. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Spencer, Idaho. And that's where Becky has her cabin, right? I I have never been to Spencer. I, I love going to Island Park. So we would, uh, we had, we were able to come up during the summer from Utah and spend a lot of time with my grandparents. I love that. I love being able to spend time with them. And they would find things for us to do. I you know, they kept us busy. We we would clean house. We would do crafts. My grandma would teach me crochet. I I really I really enjoyed that time of my life. It was it was so nice. And then when we moved when we moved from Utah to Idaho, um, my parents were in the process of trying to sell their house, but the school year was going to start. So um, we moved in with my grandparents, and we lived with my grandparents for a few months before my parents moved up there. And then they finally got the house sold. They moved up there, and we moved into a farmhouse, which was kind of fun. But my grandparents were the best. They they treated us grandkids so good, and they always made us work for our money. So there was always something, you know, wash their car or clean the house, there was always a way to earn money, but there was never a handout, which which is great. It taught it taught us, you know, taught us a lot in life that hey, if you work hard, you can go far in life, and nothing is free, right? Nothing is free. You always have to work for it. So, um, for me, that was a great a great growing up. I love that. And then also the fact that my my grandpa gave all of the grandkids the opportunity to work in the potato warehouse. So there was a potato warehouse in Firth and it was called Crofts Incorporated. And and at a very young age, <laughs> we would go up there and we were able to work during the summer for you know a few hours a day cleaning machinery. And when I say cleaning machinery, it was cleaning the machinery like with a toothbrush. <laughs> Cleaning, cleaning all the mud that had accumulated. It was, it was hard work, but I loved it. I loved every bit of it. I, I think this part's going to be covered up. I actually think that is okay. And then I'm just going to lightly, lightly ink this, not ink it that much. Okay. All right. And then here comes the big parts. Oh, I'm just going to get these off so that the board, so I can move the board out of the way. Okay. Um, Hi, Virginia. How are you? Let me move this. We're just kind of talking about child, childhood things, favorite things that we used to do. If you if you had something that you used to do as a kid with your best friend or with your um, grandparents, just kind of just kind of looking at those memories, which you know, it's kind of fun to look back on things. My my grandparents were just amazing. They really were. I, I felt like they treated us grandkids so good. And there were so many of us. I don't know how. I don't know how I still felt special where there were so many grandkids around. I still felt like I was a special one. <laughs> they just had a way of doing it. And they were always such a great example to people. You know, they, they gave so much in the community, helped out so many people. And and not just not just giving them stuff. They'd give them a job. So grandpa grandpa would make sure that people had the opportunity to work for money, because you know if you just if you just give people a handout, they don't always learn in life. So he he was never one to just give a handout, but he give a hand up, and I love I love that about him. So, yep, I miss those good old days. <laughs> those good old days uh, all right so 
we're just inking it. I'm inking the edges here. I'm almost done. We'll do the base and then we'll glue the base together and then we'll start gluing all this together and we'll see if I missed anything because, you know, sometimes I get to part and go, oh, I was supposed to paint that a different color. I could get out a Q-tip to do this, but I'm trying to do it all with all with the ink pad. <laughs> I'm trying not to have to get out the Q-tip. I'm trying to just do all of it with the ink pad. I think it's going to be okay. I want it to kind of look grungy. I, I do. I want it to kind of look like that. So um, so that's how that is. Spent the summer at your grandparents with your little sister. You never felt more about I love that. I love that. Um, Laura, your Facebook is acting weird. I'm sorry. So, um, hey, Tish, how are you? Karen says, move a lot. So you got the point that you didn't want to have a best friend because you'd have to move again. So you became a bookworm and an artist. Oh, wow. Um, I, I was an artist too. I love, I love to paint every Saturday morning. I would sit down and I would paint <laughs> along with the famous artist on TV. You all know who it is. <laughs> so Laura says, my grandparents built a small cabin up North that you love going to for the weekend, um, would help cut down trees, rake, pick up acorns and garden with your grandpa, go fishing and hunting. Oh, I miss that too. I miss that too. So many, so many great memories, right? Okay. I think I got everything inked. Let me just take another look. I don't ink the words. Okay. And I'm going to, I'm going to, first off, I'm going to glue the bases together so that they can start drying. So this is the base. We decided to make, if you're just hopping on, um, decided to make another snow globe, the little globes. <laughs> They're like a snow globe. Um, so that you can see. I'll do a basket another day. I like to try to kind of give you reminders of how it all goes together. And some of you may not have even created yours yet. They might still be in the plastic bags and you're just waiting. So it kind of give you a little reminder of what to do. So my, my grandparents, initially we just would go up to Island Park and we would have a big tent. It was a big tent. It fits so many of us cousins. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, we would just be lined up in a row. I don't even know how many. It was probably a hunting camp. You know, those big hunting camps, uh, hunting tents. Um, it was huge. So there was lots of us cousins. It was great. And then eventually they, they got a trailer that they put up there. And that was a lot of fun. I love that. Nothing like all those memories. You know, those childhood memories are great. Okay, let's let's assemble... It, it really doesn't matter. Let's just let's just assemble something first. <laughs> let's assemble the the water globe itself first. Okay, so I can show you the layers. Okay, so so this one says number one, and it's not painted. You don't want to paint the back of that. Okay, and then this one you can still see it says number two. Okay, so that's number two. Okay, so we're gonna glue that together. So you glue all this together, and make sure that the bottom part hangs off, and this is all lined up. You don't have to have glue all the way around. Just put some here and there. So I I hear dogs getting into trouble. I I hear a crinkle of something. I hope it's a dog toy. I hope it's a dog toy. So guess guess who learned how to jump onto the couch? <laughs> yesterday yesterday I go out from my Facebook live and Riley and Annie are up on the couch. They finally learned how to jump up there. I might, they're making so much noise with something. Let me just take a peek and see what it is. Guys, I'm a little worried. Hang on just a second. Let me just take a peek and see what do they have. Hopefully it's a toy. What are you guys, what are you guys crinkling? Oh my goodness, no. Can I have that? Hello. Oh my goodness. Your dad is not gonna be happy. Okay. No, you don't need to have that. No, you don't need to have that. <laughs> I knew they were being naughty. What? Are you coming in? They're like, I want to come in. So they had, my husband is, um, he's wanting to remodel the master bathroom. And so he had a sheet of paper there. What? You want, you want to see everybody? Come here. These are the two um, culprits. That <laughs> oh, they're in trouble. Come here, Annie. Come here. Come up here. Okay. Annie and Riley, they're in trouble. They have the piece of paper. So so he had a piece of paper next to the couch. Now that they're able to jump up on the couch, he's going to have to watch what he leaves there on the on the little um, corner table. 
So these little monsters are out there shredding it. So he has a sheet of paper, like of all the supplies that he needs to do his bathroom remodel. And these two little girls, yes, you, <laughs> I love you too. Um, but they, they were out there shredding it. <laughs> so he's going to have to rewrite it. You're a stinker. You guys are stinkers. Okay, go ahead and go out. Go, go out. Go out. Are they so cute? Their haircut is so cute. Out. Out. Go out. Go out. Go out. <laughs> you need to go out. <sighs> Little stinkers. I knew. I'm glad I went out. They didn't quite destroy the whole the whole sheet of paper. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, they're so they're so crazy. All right. <laughs> Let me just put you back down to the project. Sorry, guys. My, li my life just is that way. Um, there we go. <laughs> Silly girls. They're so naughty sometimes. I knew. So if it gets really quiet, then I usually know they're into something. They, they've been shredding. We, um, we got the grass thing again for them. Okay, so this is layer number three. Okay, that says three and this says three. Okay, so we got we got the grass thing for them to have to go potty on again because I thought, well, maybe Sophie just doesn't want to potty because she was always pottying on the floor or sometimes on the pee pad. I was like, maybe she doesn't want to potty on concrete outside. So we got the grass thing again. Of course, of course, the girls, the girls, I call them the girls, Riley and Annie. Um, they've been shredding the grass. I go into the living room, I mean, I, and kitchen on Saturday, like halfway through the day, there is grass everywhere. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> you guys. And so they got, I took them to the grass and I uh, showed them like on the floor, spanked, spanked them, put them into timeout, <laughs> cleaned it all up. And then not that, not that lo much longer after that, they did it again. Okay, so that's that's the that's the third layer right there. Okay, so that's layer number three. Can you guys all see? That's layer number three. And then these gray ones are gonna go right on here. Okay, and then it's gonna go into the base. It'll go into the base as soon as this is dry. We'll we'll let that dry. Okay. So let me plug in my glue gun too, because I like to reinforce the back of that. They are such naughty, naughty little girls. Naughty, naughty, naughty. I just don't know. <laughs> they're cute, but they're stinkers. Yeah. Happy hump day, Denise. Happy hump day. We're putting a few of our little things together. There's pieces everywhere. Sorry. <laughs> we will figure it all out. Okay, so that goes there. I wanted to get this so that it could dry while we're assembling everything else. Okay, so that goes there. Perfect. All right. And actually, I shouldn't have glue under that because guess what? You, you don't want glue getting on the back of your little insert when you put it in there. I'm going to take that glue off of there. I'm going to do the same with up here. Hey, I have a friend who whose um, daughter opened up her mission call. If, if you know what a mission is, so for the, for the Mormon church, um, girls and guys can go on a mission. She opened up her mission call and she's going to Japan. And I was so excited for her. I'm thinking, gosh, that's so exciting. I, lo I loved when I lived in Japan. You know, I, I've been reflecting back on all these, all these fun things that I did in my life. I hated, I hated who I was there with. <laughs> But I love, but I love Japan. I love, love, love Japan. It was a great place. So I was so excited when my friends, um, it's from high school, my friend from high school, his daughter opened up her mission call and she is going to Japan. So excited. Okay, let's put this up in the corner and let that dry. Next, next. Okay, so um, we have honey. We're going to need a Q-tip. So there's a lot of little pieces. We're going to use a Q-tip. This goes over here. Let's just assemble this. Let's get all these things over here that go with this. We have the B. We have the body. Um, and then we have this body. Okay, so that goes with that. And that's, yeah, that's all that goes over there. There's nothing else that goes on it. Okay, so let me just get a little bit of glue in this right here. 
just going to put a little bit of glue right there to use with our small pieces. We have a lot of small pieces. Oh, we could just put a little bit of glue on each of these bodies. Okay. So each of the each of the B bodies. I'll put just a little bit of glue right there. I hope that I just flipped one over. It just jumped. You know. And then I'm gonna spread I'm gonna spread the glue with with my um, Q tip. So I'm gonna spread it and we'll get our little bees. There's little tiny bees. Let me see if I can go in closer for you guys. There's little tiny bees. Okay, right here. That are gonna go onto this. So I'm just trying to get this glue spread out a little bit. And then I'll I'll put the bees together. So the glue goes onto the part where you have the wings, okay? And then you have the little tiny bodies here. The little bodies go right on top of that. Okay, so there's a bee. And then make sure it's lined up. And here's another bee. To be or not to be, or three B or four B. <laughs> to be or not to be, or three B or four B. That's funny. I love the bee theme. It's not difficult. These are these are really easy to do. You saw how I did them. So you can go back and you can watch the the replay while you're painting your kit. Let me drop the let me drop the link for the kit in here. So the kit is the full kit. I'll show you the picture again. It has six different items with it. Let me go to our kit and I will give you the direct link for that. And it's easy to get to. It's in our Shopify website under the monthly kits. And then you just go to April. And um, yeah, it's easy for you to get to if you already know how to get to my website. But I will put the, the link right here for you guys. And then we'll, ha we'll just have two more items that we have to paint. Here's the link for that. So if you want to order that. So I have my little cheat sheet here. These, these come with the kit. So you're gonna have you're gonna have these in the kit, so it's gonna help you paint. So only these kits, only the monthly kit has this, but see how it has all the colors and then it has individual pictures of each item to help you. Okay. So hopefully that helps. <laughs> okay, let's do the words. Let's do our, our local honey on here. There's the other letters. So I'm just gonna use my Q tip to put some some glue on here you don't have to have it on every bit of it okay some here and there and everywhere kind of spread it around you don't want it to be thick on there okay doesn't have you don't want it to be thick and then line it up there's score marks so see how there's score marks on here can you see so you can see exactly where to line that up okay so you know line it up i'll stand up too to make sure <laughs> <laughs> and then so some of them are attached like local was all one word and then the honey part is the h and the o are separate sometimes that's just the way that the file works out that it's not always all together in one one thing because it looks better this way okay so it's however it's going to look better on there and then we'll glue our little bees on there now remember you don't glue the piece that goes in front of on the um, on the water globe. So you don't glue that onto this because it makes it difficult to put it in. Okay, so each of the bees, we're gonna put a little bit of glue on each bee. So one goes here. There is not score marks on the on the beehive. You can put your bees on there however you want to. Okay, so on the beehive, there are not score marks. On this, there's one going up and one going down. So that's all on there. Nothing else goes on here, okay? So this is separate. This is a separate piece. I don't glue it together because it makes it difficult to put in there, okay? So I'm gonna do one bee at the top going up and then I'm gonna put the other bee going up from the bottom, okay? You can put your bees wherever you want. I just thought this cute like that. Okay, so we have that, and then we're gonna do sweet, and then we're gonna glue the base on the water globe because it's, it's set up by now. Okay, so just tap, tap, tap with a Q-tip. 
Okay, and then this goes on here. There's scoring, so you know exactly where that goes. That goes right there. Let me just make sure. Okay, so now this is dried enough that we can put we can put it in the base. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of glue, and then I'm gonna reinforce it from the, from the back. I'm gonna so I'm gonna make sure it fits first. <laughs> I'm making sure it fits in there, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue, and then I'm gonna put some hot glue on the back side. I like to do that to reinforce it. Okay, that's just going to go right there. A little bit of glue, and it just slides right in. Okay, make sure it's in all the way. And then I like to run a bead of glue along the back. Okay, I'm not going to do it the whole way. I'm just going to do it part of the way. I've got my hot glue gun plugged in. So if you need this kit, if you haven't ordered yet, it's available. This is the April kit. I released it early so you guys can get it and start doing it. But it's going to be out there. So you don't have to get it right now. If you need to wait until payday or, or you're not sure if you want it or not, it's going to be there. So don't you worry. Don't you stress. Okay. So now we're going to let this sit while we're gluing the other part together. And then we'll assemble it. I'm just, I'm just getting off a little bit of the glue that was on the front. Okay. And I'm going to set this to the side. Okay, so I'm making sure that it's straight up and down. Okay, now we'll, now we'll glue this together. So we can use our big thing of glue. If you need to make any adjustments or need to change anything, you can do that now on this. The honey pot can be a different color. If you wanted to do it, um, do it different colors, you absolutely can. I am just choosing not to. I'm go. I'm going easy for you guys. <laughs> I am just going easy. It's it's honey color. All right, and then here's the dripping honey. Just need a little bit of glue. It goes right there. And then we have the the honey stirrer, honey dipper, whatever honey dipper. I guess what it is. Honey dipper goes right there. Okay. And then this bee is stacked. So glue this on first. And we are almost there. We'll, we'll assemble the other one, then we'll come back and we'll put this into the base because it really needs to it really needs to set and and dry before it goes into the base. Okay. Let me get it all lined up. Let me make sure we're lined up. So there, there's that. I'm gonna press it down. Look how cute this is. This is so stinking cute. So this goes with our kit. So we have we have two more items to paint. We did the first day we did the basket. And we did the the jar, okay, with the bear. So um, now we have the word honey done, and we have our insert for the water globe. Okay, so here's our water globe. Here's how this goes together. Let me get, so what you're gonna do, see this little hole here? That's how you get this part out. This is gonna drop right in here, just like that. When it's time to pre press that out, you're going to press it up with your finger, okay? It's going to be easy. So you drop that part in there, then this, then this slides in, there's a little notch there, this slides in to hold that in. Don't glue that together because it's hard to take it out in one piece, okay? I don't glue it together, I leave it like that. And then this piece goes down here, there's a little notch there, so so there we go. And there's like a little something, so that one's done, okay? So let me just, I'll probably lay it back down and let it dry longer afterwards but I want to show you guys how it goes. Okay, so now we have this base. Okay, so this base, figure out the way the way that the, the words are. Okay, so, so this is single. So it goes down here on the Y. So this needs to be flipped around. And then I'm gonna dry fit it before I put glue. Okay, so I'm gonna go, okay, it fits. It fits right into the slot right there. Okay, can you send the link for just the basket? Um, yes. Let me send the link for just the basket. So it is, let me go back. So just the basket. And we are gonna be doing other projects with that basket. So if you want to get a second basket, um, that, would be, that would be a lot of fun. So I'm gonna do, I have other fun things that go with the basket. So that's why I'm saying that. There's a lot of other things that I think would be really fun. Okay, here's the link for just the basket. Okay, so there's just the basket. Okay, there you go. It should show up in a second. It Sometimes it takes just, there you go. Okay, perfect. All right, 
So now I'm going to put a little bit of glue. I'm gonna actually put the glue in here just carefully. Okay, so you don't need a ton because if you fill that hole completely with glue, um, it's going to it's going to go all oozing out. It probably will ooze out a little bit anyways. So I'm just trying to do just a little bit in each one. And then we're going to reinforce it on the back with the hot glue, just like we did the other one. And I'm trying to make sure everything stays. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there. And then if there's any little bits of glue that come out that I need to clean up, I can do that. So just press it down. So now that's in the base. Okay, I want to I want to reinforce the back. I want this to stand up straight. Okay, so I'm going to take my hot glue gun. And I'm going to run a bead along each little area, and I'm going to hold that straight up and down so that it doesn't lean. Okay, that's another reason why I did it. Um, the bas the basket does not come in the kit. The bath the basket itself came with the January kit. Okay, so if you got the January kit then you have the basket. If you did not get the January kit, then you're gonna have to buy it. So the water globe and the basket do not come in the kit because you, you only need it once. So it came, in the, it came in January for free. That was like a free gift to you guys in January. So if you're starting in the middle with doing the kits, you're going to need to purchase the water globe part the ba you know the base part and the basket okay so you will have to purchase and I do say that on there it does say that on there um, it says does not include so when you're buying that kit you will see right there does not include the water globe does not include the basket because every month you don't need a new one so because you're just swapping those pieces out, I'm just putting a second little bead along here, making sure that it's standing up straight. Okay, so so basically, okay, and then I'm gonna use my heat gun. So remember how we can use the heat gun for all the strings? Okay, so I'll put the, I'll put the, the water globe too. Okay, so yes. So the very first month, the water globe and the See how it disappears? All those little strings are gone. <laughs> that's my trick. Use your heat gun. And then I'm gonna unplug my glue gun. Okay, so that's done. Yeah, so so what comes in the monthly kit is the insert. So you're gonna get the insert each month. We're gonna use the water globe each month and we're gonna use the basket each month. Okay, so, so um, you're gonna get the insert. Okay, this piece came in January's. Okay, so you don't need it every month because you're gonna swap out these pieces. See how easy that was to take it out? You're gonna swap out each of the pieces and you might wanna get an extra now and again. Oops, that doesn't go there. That goes at the bottom. <laughs> it fit in there, but um, yeah, there we go. So that goes there. See how easy it is to swap them in and out? Okay, let me give you the water glue also. Let me do that. So, and I make sure that I have that in there for you guys. It says, it actually, it says that right on the listing. It does not include that. So let me go ahead and we'll get to that part. Let me give you the links. So I try to repeat myself. I know some of you are like, I've heard you say that a dozen times. That's okay. <laughs> okay, guys, we're all done with these. That glue is still drying on the back, so I'm not going to lay it all the way down. My little bee has moved. I knew it would, so I'm going to try to I'm going to try to keep those lined up before they dry that way. Okay, I guess I can put it like that. Okay, so I can put. I'll be laying it back down like that as soon as that glue is dried. Okay, let me put you up to myself. We are done. So we have two more things to create with this, and then we'll be done with this. So let me put you to myself. There we are. Hi guys. <laughs> this one is so cute, isn't it? I love it. I love I love all the bee stuff. All right. So there we are. Okay, two more things down. Two more to go. <laughs> the next two that we have to do are the little house, the house part and the candle holder. So there's so there's the little house. The little house, can you see it up there in the corner? The little house. And then there's a candle holder. We'll do those two. We'll, we'll, we'll do something else the next two days. We'll do something else. And then we'll go back to doing the final projects on this. And we'll be done. All right. Any questions?
<laughs> yep, unplug my glue gun. Yep, I sure did. All right, guys, I love you guys. Thanks for being here. This is always so much fun and it relieves so much stress for me. I hope that you guys have fun crafting also. It is better than therapy. It is cheaper than therapy, usually. <laughs> usually. <laughs> let's just say it's better than therapy because you know what it, it raises your endorphins it makes you happy it makes other people happy and you can say I made that I made that okay I'm gonna have to hurry and I'm gonna fix it because I'm sure my bees are sagging again so make sure you lay it flat until it's completely dry I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like how cute they are and um, I'll see you guys later I love you guys have a wonderful day I'll see you tomorrow bye